Hey, Lori Smith here on my back porch because I have a back porch business, right? So I want to thank you for joining me tonight. It's a beautiful night, so I thought I'd come out on the back porch and actually record this video. You know, um, the topic of my video is choosing a career in home-based business that's the right match for you, right? And it's so funny. I was thinking the other day about that, and I thought, well, that's kind of like marriage, right? I mean... We start out and we're thinking, oh, you know, we want to find a significant other, we want to find a spouse, somebody we want to spend the rest of our life with, um, you know, and join a, in a partnership that is um, just fun and exciting and you can see endless possibilities and you're looking for long term, right? So why don't we look for that when we're looking for a career in home-based businesses? So. <laughs> now you can kind of see where I'm going from. It's kind of like a marriage, right? We start off with dating. We start off dipping our toe in it and just seeing if it's something that may be for us and learning about it, not quite ready to jump in, right? Well, you know, it's kind of like the dating. If, if that person isn't right for you, you just kind of move on to the next thing, right? And you may, you know, I know somebody um, well-known in the industry that joined 11 different companies before they actually found what they wanted to do and what they actually uh, were able to grow. Something that, that was compatible with them, right? So really it is a lot like marriage. We look for the same things almost. Like, you know, I mean, does it feel great? Um, is it compatible? Is it fun? Can we see the possibilities? Do we see a long-term relationship? Or are we in it just to get in and make a little bit of money and get out? Well, you know, there's different different reasons for people wanting to join a home-based business and basically when I joined we wanted a long-term relationship we wanted something different we wanted to get out of masonry and we wanted something different so we are in a home-based business and have been for going on 10 11 years now and we absolutely love it but we had to learn a lot of things we did some toe dipping so to speak and um, we had to do some learning and that's kind of what we do when we're dating, right? We get to know the person, what we like about this person, what we don't like about with this person. Can we live with this person? Is it going to be a long-term thing? And, you know, this may seem silly, but it is a lot of like, like marriage. It really is because we are married, whether, whether we have a job, whether we have, whether we're entrepreneurs, um, we are married to whatever that is and I think you should look at it as, as though it's going to be a long-term thing especially if you're looking to make a lot of money with it right um, you want teamwork participation you want synergism you want consistent effort and we have to do that in a marriage every day right me and my husband have been married for 34 years and it's not without trials right everybody has trials um, show me one person that's got a perfect life right that just doesn't happen so we need to have consistent effort. We need to give 110%, right? Um, and there's got to be compromise. When you're in a home-based business and you have free time, it is about you doing something with your business on a consistent, everyday effort. Um, just as it is in your marriage, right? If, if, if we're not working on our marriage every day, if we're not compromising, if we don't have a long-term uh, look, into the future, then what does it really mean, right? So so what are the possibilities and what is it that you're looking for? And um, so what I would ask myself is, you know, do I want something long term? Am I looking for just a couple extra hundred dollars a month or do I want to get out of what I'm doing? And that will give you uh, the results you want because it will also help you understand what you need to do for your business. And um, you know, if you're not doing those things, in your marriage or if you're not doing these things in your business what you see is disunion you see a blockage and you just can't move forward um, antagonism really because people are seeing you're not unhappy and um, hostility because it just feels bad and it's just not what you thought it would be and um, you have a delay in building your business and you're in management management mode, right? Instead of building mode, you're kind of in management mode. What do I do? Where am I going to go? Am I happy where I'm at? Do I need to find something else? Sort of thing. And then what happens? Failure. We stop. We quit. And generally what happens in marriage when we 
stop and we quit, we don't compromise and we don't give consistent effort, um, divorce. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that um, divorce is wrong by any means. You know, if you need to um, reevaluate, take a step back and reevaluate your business, by all means do that. Make sure that you're happy in what you're doing because if you're not, then you're just not going to do the things that uh, you need to do for your business, right? And you're not going to get the, the lifestyle and dreams that you want from your business. So I would really urge you as you're looking um, for a career in home business to make sure that it's something that you enjoy, something that you can use because you're going to be a product of the product. So make sure that um, you see a long-term relationship with this with the business that you choose because if you do see that you can you're unstoppable and um, those are the kind of those are the things I want to kind of talk about today and I hope that you found a little bit of value out of this I know it's kind of a silly combination but it's so true if you think about it so um, I want to wish you much success in whatever business you choose and if you've gotten value out of today please go ahead and share this or leave a, leave a comment for us and, and help me and help others right help others to understand home business and things that have worked for you and maybe some trials and struggles you went through as you were looking for that right match that right business I hope to see you on the next blog so ciao for now